any advice. When you go to a Jamaican restaurant, know what you want before you're going in. And when you order it, stick to it because they get very upset if you try to change your order. Okay? I go to this restaurant. It's on Rockaway and, uh, and um, uh, Fulton Street. Great food. And I, I just fiend for it. You know, you ever had that type of food that you just got to have it? And I know I'm going to have problems when I go in there. So I got to build myself up before I go in. You know, I'm outside the store. Just nam yo ho renge kyo. Nam yo ho renge kyo ho. I'm like, I got to talk myself up. Stay focused. Stay focused. You want an oxtail with rice and peas? Stay focused. I go in there, and this lady is the rudest woman on the planet. She's sitting watching soap operas. I'm, I'm ringing the bell. I don't even ring the bell hard. I'm nice. The bell is sitting there. I'm like, ting. Nam yo ho. She don't even acknowledge me. She... Soon as the commercial come out, what do you want? I'm like, relax, focus, focus, focus. All right, listen, I need an oxtail with rice and peas. Go. She start making my food. You want plantain? You know what? If you think I need plantains, go ahead and put that in there. I don't want no trouble. I don't want any problems. And then halfway through, something was biting at me. I was like, nah, you know what? I don't want the oxtail. Let me get a curry. No, no, no. No, you're going to get the curry chicken and the oxtail. And you're going to pay for both of them. I'm like, how you going to thug a plate of food out of me? So I got my curry chicken and oxtail. Because you got to do what the angry lady say. Now, man, you know, we can have a Jamaican president. Nah, that might not work. It's not that I don't think Jamaicans are capable. I think you're very smart, very hardworking people. I just think you're very angry. And if we had a Jamaican president, we would have a new war every week. Every week, he'd be standing in front of the White House, just mad, just, what Russia said? Russia said something? Hmm? Say it again, Russia, say it one more time. No, say it one more time, I'm not up your bone tree. Say it again, say it again. You don't see the button, you don't see the button. You don't, you don't want me to push that button. We don't cooperate, baby. Why do you think they fuck with Air Jamaica? It's a lot of fuel on that plane, but they know. They get on Air Jamaica, they be like, hey, oh, shit. Call Osama, this is not the right flight. No, they have dreads. This is not going to work. You can't get on Air Jamaica talking about, hello, we are taking the plane. All you hear is. Pause the sit down. Talk about hijack your mind. <laughs> they hit it with the bus, so you know me. Because e. that's a word in Jamaica. E. Can't hijack no plane full of angry Jamaicans. If it's Jamaicans, hey, I'm sorry. Y'all are the angriest group of black people on the fucking planet. They will lick shot for every fucking thing. They the blue, 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 blue. This simple shit. What do you mean, what I want to drink? You want me to shut up this whole bomba clock, clock, post the wall? You know me? E. <laughs> I love them. I love them, but they angry. I understand them, man. And you from Jamaica. How the fuck are you so mad? I've been to Jamaica. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's great weather. You go to the beach. The water's blue. You know what I'm saying? You ever go to the beach in New York? We should be mad. You go to the beach in New York? Nigga, you would come out with a drug addiction. <laughs> Nigga go swimming and come out like, oh, shit. Oh, shit, nigga. <laughs> what happened here? I was swimming, nigga. Damn, I can't swim no more. <laughs> and I really hope I live to see a Spanish president because that's going to be the best inauguration ever. You hear me? Because if you know anything about Spanish people, they party hard. They don't play. If they got a president coming, they're going to start partying like a week before. You hear me? Everywhere you go. <laughs> What are you dancing for? Three more days. <laughs> Three more days for what? El Presidente. They're going to hop it. <laughs> and on inauguration day, it's going to be like 50 million Latinos in front of the Capitol. 
Right? Ain't going to be no room for nobody else. Nothing but Spanish people. White people going to be on the side like, this is ridiculous. What happened? We used to run this country. Be none but Latinos in front of the Capitol just chanting, Julio, Julio, Julio. Because that might be his name. We don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to step up there all proud. Right? Probably have a red suit on. <laughs> well, like some white shoes. You know what I'm saying? He's he going to pimp it out. It's a big day. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a gracia, gracia. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> el easy, everybody. Take it easy, okay? Uh, because I'm not going to be a too long today. Because today is a good day. Okay? We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, pero mañana. <laughs> you, know, you know that's what Latinos do and they mean what they're about to say. Mañana. Tomorrow. Mm. We have a lot of work to do, Papa. There's going to be a lot of Papas in that speech. Uh, because we need some more change in America. Okay, Barack, he do some change, but that wasn't enough. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We need some more. Uh, change number one. And this is the only time you're going to hear this at a presidential inauguration in the United States of America. Change number one. Eh, este... Ay, Dios mío, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? En inglés, en inglés. Ay, Dios mío, how you say? Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh, no more English. Everybody pick a party. That's it. Why do you think they didn't hijack like Air Africa? I don't know if that's an airline, but I'm going to explain this joke. Because that's not going to be an easy hijack. Can you imagine that? Them Africans have been in America for years and have sold mad DVDs. Right? They're going back to the village to build a hospital. Because that's what they always say. I'm going to build a hospital in my village. <laughs> Here comes some terrorists on Air Africa. Talking about, hello! We are taking over the plane! Some Africans be like, oh no. Humbugu! <laughs> Humbugu! No, no, he's crazy. Don't worry, I will deal with it. Okay, enjoy your peanuts. No, enjoy your peanuts. I will deal with this. And Africans are really nice, even when they're mad. They talk to you nice. Excuse me, Mr. Yes, I am sorry. I do not mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. I realize that you are very, very busy. Okay, but my friend and I are confused. Okay, did I or did I not hear you say that you was taking over this plane? Is that what I heard? No. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, the book. Uh-huh. No, he's crazy. Don't worry. I will deal with it. Enjoy your peanuts. No, enjoy your peanuts. I will deal with it. I'm sorry, mister. One more question before you go. No, I know you are busy, but one more question, please. Let me ask you this. Okay, how can you hijack this plane? If you are sleeping. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. No, he does not know what I'm talking about. No, go! 